Hello everyone. Welcome to the first video of C programming. In this video, we'll discuss why C programming is required. What is the need of C programming? How the different concepts are present in C programming? So in this series of videos, we'll definitely learn from the basics to the advanced one, where we'll discuss bit by bit the concepts of every chapter some related programs that it, it will make you much more interesting to watch the video. Okay. So before we will start C programming, we should understand ki what is C programming and why it is required. So there are a number of uh, languages are present in the market, but the problem is every time in industry, whenever there are new languages or tools or technologies are coming, but they're vanishing very soon. But C programming is present for the last four decades or more, which makes much more interesting the concept. Okay. So C programming is actually developed by uh, the scientist Dennis Ritchie in 1972 in a lab AT&T's Bell Laboratories in of USA. But the first thing comes to our mind, ki, what do you mean by programming language? Now, if we'll try to understand regarding language. So if you'll try to understand what is language. Now this is nothing but it's a communication medium. Okay. Communication medium. Like we are discussing everything through English so that I can express my views and what you can understand. The same thing. If I want to express my views with computer, then what I'll do? I have to take the help of programming language. That's why it is understood that it is a bridge for the humans which will communicate with computers. So that means this programming language is nothing but it's a bridge between the human being and computers so that they can share their feelings. Technically, if you'll say okay, what is actually programming language, it's a formal language only which will specify a set of instructions that can be used to generate different kinds of output. For example, suppose I need to add two numbers. So that means first of all, I have to give some instructions to the computer with different types of inputs, which will give me the output. Okay, so this is nothing but programming language. Okay, now if we'll consider key, why C programming is required. Okay. So the first thing that comes to your mind ki nowadays many people are learning Java, Python earlier than C programming. But it is viable. First thing is no. Why? Because I believe nobody can learn this advanced language like C, Java directly. Why? Because those who have learned these languages, they will come through different concepts like inheritance, objects, class, polymorphism, template, exception handling. There are a number of concepts are there. But if you don't know the basic concept, then these things, whatever the buzzwords I have used, you can only use that one. But the internal mechanism, you will never understand ki why you are using that. Okay. So also, Whenever you are discussing about other programming languages like Java or Python, they are object-oriented programming language. But to understand what is object-oriented, you need to understand the basic concepts of C first of all. Okay, so that's why the first point comes to our mind. Okay? It makes us comfortable. Okay, it makes us comfortable to learn other language. If you know C programming, the basic concept, definitely it will help you to learn other programming languages. Okay. Similarly, whenever you are learning Java, Python or other things, you have to come across different tools, as well as different frameworks. Because you will write some high level programming languages. So the tools and frameworks will make much more easier to write other programming languages. But the problem is these tools and frameworks have evolved over years. The importance of still C is present. Why? Because these tools or frameworks are actually written by using C language. 
okay so even if you know different framework you you know how to use different tools but c language is the backbone okay now again coming to the operating system you are using windows operating system many are using mac operating system many are using linux operating system so major parts of this popular operating system like windows linux or linux are still written in c okay so that means if you um, want to build your career in developing operating system you want to build your own operating system then definitely you have to learn c programming clearly so that you can understand the existing operating system code and then you can modify and you can write on some open source code so that you can build your own operating system okay now the best example many of you are using mobile devices okay so different cellular phones palm tops everyone is using that or the different common consumers they are using devices like what microwave ovens washing machine digital camera so why they are using to make their life much more smarter okay but this smartness comes from a microprocessor okay all these smart devices they are having a microprocessor and a operating system and program which is embedded in these devices are actually present definitely all these programs are written by using c language so if you will see the internal things of any operating system any tools any language those are based on c programming okay now nowadays generation everybody love to play games so there are different 3d computer games are available where the user wants to navigate some object okay so all these things no need to say but these games are developed by using c language okay so the gist of telling is that if you love writing programs if you love to use different tools if you love to develop your own operating system if you love to use mobile devices the basics of mobile or if you love to design any computer game definitely you are in right path while studying c programming okay now coming to the process ki what is c program okay now just uh, let us understand ki you want to learn english so to learn english what is the basic steps the basic step is you have to first learn alphabets by using alphabets you have to create some words by using words you have to create sentences by using those sentences finally you will create paragraphs okay this is the basic steps while learning english language the same thing you will follow that there are different steps are there to learn c programming so what you need to do first of all you have to understand what is alphabet you need to go across some different digits you have to come across some special symbols by using all these things finally you will come for different types of buzzwords like constants variables keywords so you have to learn these things in the second step by using all these things finally you have to give the instructions okay or you have to manage all the instruction in a formal way which is actually known as your program and i have told you that program is written by using a programming language okay the programming language and that language is nothing but it's a bridge between the user and the computer because by using all these steps finally you are sharing your thoughts with the computer to get some output okay so that means to learn c programming you have to go step by step you cannot say ki i have to write the program in day 1 no you have to like you have never written a paragraph on day 1 of your school you have learned so many things to write a paragraph the same thing you have to follow a lot of process you have to come across different concepts you have to be disciplined in such a way that finally you can able to write program but for that you have to start your step one from this video one okay so that means c language is very common 
very easy so that you can learn other programming languages if you're comfortable with C programming. Okay. So in our subsequent videos, what we'll do actually, we'll definitely understand the concepts of different things in C language and we'll write down the programs on that. Okay. So thank you everyone for watching the first video.